Students prepared to head back to class. Districts are now faced with deciding if this new technology will be allowed in the classroom. Rebecca Clough goes or gives you an in-depth look at how schools here in southeastern Wisconsin are addressing AI. As students get ready to return to school, a big resource one college student says he relies on might sound like a foreign language if you're not familiar with artificial intelligence platforms. I use ChatGPT, I use Midjourney, Bard. Uh, I also sometimes switch between the Bing Chat itself, which also uses the GPT-4. With these AI platforms becoming so popular, South Milwaukee School District teachers have been hard at work deciding what their policy should be. We've seen all sorts of different AI products pop up in our classrooms, um, some being used appropriately by students, others not. There are concerns students will use AI to plagiarize when it comes to things like writing essays. But the question teachers and administrators are trying to answer is, could AI be used as a tool? What level of AI work is plagiarism? If I take AI and I adjust it and I edit it and I use some of the points from that, is that still plagiarism? So those are the conversations that we have had in the spring and plan to continue into the fall. You have to moderate what you allow in schools and what you're doing when you work with children because you want to make sure it's safe for them. You want to make sure that it's appropriately meeting their needs. We reached out to other districts in the area to see how they're handling AI. Milwaukee Public Schools banned chat GPT on all school devices. But Kenosha, Racine, Sheboygan, mequon thienesville Cedarburg, and Franklin do not have policies in place. UW-Madison professor David William Schaefer has been studying AI in education and sees districts across the country taking different approaches. People are doing variations of all of these things. Um, I think that because AI is not going to go away anytime soon, um, simply trying to, um, you know, ban it or uh, or ignore it are not going to work and that a better approach is to actually uh, start to integrate it into our instructional practice. Schaefer believes AI is the future, not only for learning, but in the workforce, too. Every time a new technology appears, and this is not the first time we saw the Internet appeared in the 1990s. Graphing calculators came in, in classrooms in the 1980s. Before that, typewriters were a big deal when they were introduced and, and so on. Right. So technol new technologies come and schools adapt. Eventually, do I see us using AI tools in schools all over the place? Sure, because I think it's going to become second nature to most of us in our lives. What that means today, that's the exploratory phase that we're in. It's the future and that if anything, schools, teachers shouldn't be looking how to necessarily catch kids using it, but rather figuring out how to implement it into their curriculum, into their instruction. The South Milwaukee School District says they hope to have some sort of policy written on how AI should be used in the classrooms by this winter. Reporting in South Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.